Is uh, the IPCC too conservative? Uh, one thing is uh, quite certain, and that is that the IPCC is conservative. That is partly simply due to its structure, because the IPCC report will contain only things that a, a whole group of scientists has agreed upon in a kind of consensus process. And this kind of agreement tends to be the lowest common denominator. And also, scientists are, I think, by nature quite conservative. You know, they are very reluctant to make extraordinary claims. And so they, they tend to stay at the conservative end. And it's certainly there is a, a disincentive for a scientist to make strong claims. And it is seen, you know, if, let's say, the true um, amount of sea level rise that uh, we expect is like, let's just say for sake of an example, it's one meter. And then if you have estimated it to be only 70 centimeters, then, you know, people will later say if it turned out to be one meter after all, well, you were conservative. And that's kind of acceptable. That's sort of okay. But if you had before that estimated one meter 30, um, that is not okay. That is alarmist and is certainly uh, viewed upon much more critically by the community than being conservative, for some reason. Of course, if you are facing a threat to civilization and you have underestimated that uh, from a point of view of avoiding a dangerous risk and of point of view of the precautionary principle, it would actually be better to have overestimated the threat rather than underestimated. Um, now, the job of the IPCC is neither overestimate nor underestimate, but just simply give the best possible scientific assessment that we can. But um, the data actually show that the IPCC has in the past underestimated important aspects of climate change. Uh, for example, sea level rise in the last uh, couple of decades has overtaken uh, the speed, uh, the upper range of previous projections of sea level rise of the IPCC. The loss of the sea ice on the Arctic Ocean has happened much faster than IPCC projected. So there are some clear examples where IPCC got it wrong and got it wrong in the direction of uh, unfortunately underestimating the scale of the problem. Now you can of course debate whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that IPCC reports are conservative, but uh, the most important thing is that you know that it's a conservative so that you understand the IPCC reports in the correct way.